Hey guys, Miss Jackie Crafts here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning the week of March 15th through the 21st. This is St. Patty's Day week and it's Harry Potter House Pride week. So I got this gorgeous kit that I've had for so long from Station Stickers and I've just been like waiting for the perfect excuse to use it. It is so freaking beautiful. So it comes with all these icons. Then it these are the full boxes and they are stunning. Like look at how foiled they are. I'm literally obsessed. You get checklists, headers, boxes, all that good stuff. Some headers and some little like icons that are not foiled. You get little things and date covers and then the bottom washi. Okay, so I'm really excited about this. I'm going to take out the inserts and we'll get started. Okay guys, I'm just gonna dive right into it. Oh, I also have this washi from Simply Gilded that I'm dying to use. It is the Slytherin one from the Hogwarts collection. It's silver, so it doesn't really go, but I really, I will forgo the mixing foils for one day because I love Harry Potter. Um, in case you couldn't tell, I'm a Slytherin. Very proud of it. I'm very ambitious and very um, Slytherin-y. Um, I've got from a lot of people that I, they think I'm a Huff, I'm not a Hufflepuff, I'm a Ravenclaw, which I could definitely see too. Like if I wasn't a Slytherin, I would definitely be a Ravenclaw, but I am a thousand percent Slytherin. Go Slytherin, House Pride. And I thought this also worked for this week because um, it's St. Patty's Day week. Okay, it doesn't have the extra washi. Just wanted to see if I should wipe this out, but yeah, it's St. Patty's Day week, so it is green, but I don't really like celebrate St. Patty's Day because I'm not Irish. And like, especially since there was no parade or anything, it was just like, well, it's just another day. But yeah, I'm just like really excited about this kit. Okay, so I figured I would just like talk a lot about Harry Potter. Um, I have been to the amusement parks several times and I love it. Um, obviously I'm a Disney girl, so usually when I'm in Florida, I go to Disney World, but there are the occasional times when I do go to Universal and I would like to go more. The problem is just that it's expensive and I have a Disney season pass, so I don't have to pay for park tickets when I go. So I just pay for airline and my hotel and like whatever food that I eat while I'm there. But the park tickets is like a killer. They are very expensive. If you've been to a theme park recently, you would know that they are not cheap, but eventually I would like to go to Universal again. Okay, what am I doing next? Let's do the date covers. Um, I think these date covers are quite dark, so I might not have to wipe these out. Let's see. Yeah, I think they should be fine. Oh yeah, yeah, that's more than good. Um, but yeah, so uh, I do really love the parks. And I haven't been back since they did um, the new um, roller coaster. They took out the Dueling Dragons, which I really liked the Dueling Dragons. But I'm very, I heard like the new one, the Hagrid's like getaway or whatever, is really good. Like I've heard that it's like the best roller coaster people have ever been on, like better than Flight of Passage at Disney. So that's like saying something because Flight of Passage I thought was freaking amazing. Um, so I really want to get down there to go see it um, as soon as possible. Honestly, I'm going to Disney in April. Maybe I should see if we take a day and go to Universal. That's a very actually a great idea because I bet the tickets are cheaper. And I do have a Florida residence address. My grandma lives down there. So we always just, you know, borrow her address casual. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, she's not going to go to the theme parks. Might as well. Someone gets the benefits of being a Florida resident. Okay, I have these date dots. I've been using them every week. They are from my newest addiction, and I love them. So yeah, of the Harry Potter books, I think, well, oh, you can't even see. Well, I guess you can, like, see it when you when you wiggle it. Um, out of all the books, I think my favorite book is number five, The um, Order of the Phoenix. And I think it's my favorite because it's just so informational and I feel like that is the movie where things start to get really, really confusing. And if you haven't read the books, it's just like, um, 
what's going on and so i think that's why i love that book so much because it just gives you so much like information that you wouldn't have had from watching the movie and I don't know. I just really, really love the fifth book. But as far as the movies, I love this The Half Blood Prince. Like, I just love it so much. Um, I can't even explain why. Like, I just think it was extremely well done. And I know a lot of people don't like The Half Blood Prince, but like, I could watch it all day, every day. Okay, now onto the headers. I feel like there's so much in this kit. Like, oh, like I'm so excited to use these guys. Like, and I'm kind of upset because I meant to watch Harry Potter this week and I did not. But I'm gonna lie and say I did. <laughs> because what kind of Slytherin am I? I didn't even watch Harry Potter on House Pride Week. <laughs> Boo me. Um, but yeah, Harry Potter is one of my favorite, favorite franchises of all time. I read the books multiple times. I've seen all the movies like too many times to even count. Oh no, that one don't cook it. But it just, I'm amazed at like what a genius JK Rowling is, like truly. She is brilliant, like anybody that can come up with that and know from book, n all right, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Harry Potter, mute this video. <laughs> or if you like are reading it and you want to see the ending, like do not watch this part because I'm about to spoil the whole ending. And I actually had the whole ending spoiled for me by one of my high school friends. It was very upsetting, but like for her to know that from the first moment that she started writing that Harry's a horcrux is like mind blowing to me. Like she knew the entire time, like what the storyline of all the books were going to be, which is just incredible. Like I couldn't even imagine writing all that and like having all that creativity in your head. And it's just freaking, like, bow down to J.K. Rowling. I think she is a very talented woman. Um, yeah, so, like, I also wanted to talk about my favorite characters. I really like Bellatrix, and I don't know, like, I don't like her because she's evil. I just, like, I don't know, I really like her a lot. Um, I love Helena Bowman Carter. I think she is awesome and like such a talented actress I think she did really well with the role um I don't know I just like <laughs> I saw this meme once and it was so funny it was like people love Bold Voldemort people love Bellatrix but like nobody likes this lady and it was um Umbridge and I was like heh that is so true but yeah I just like really really am like a Slytherin at heart I love Snape like oh Snape don't get me started like Snape is one of my favorite characters I think of all time like just so complex and like the fact that JK Rowling told Alan Rickman like what the story was before like before like um the movie the book was even released is just amazing to me because I think that's so special that he knew that and really like brought the character to life and like was able to like give the character that depth that he needed. I'm like confused now. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm really confused. What did I do? <laughs> okay, well this one's gonna, mm, no, this one goes here. This is why I can't talk while I do this. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is just, yeah, we're gonna go down. Sorry guys, give me a hot second to figure out what I'm doing with these headers. Okay guys, now that I put those down, <laughs> I'm going to use some overlay tape and this is from Rose Colored Days. And now I can continue to talk because I can't mess this up because I'm putting the same exact one on every single header. Okay, so <laughs> as I was saying, I don't even remember what I was saying. Something about Harry Potter, I would assume. Yeah, so um, 
Solaris Umbridge sucks. <laughs> I think that's what I was talking about. And if I wasn't, she sucks. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see, what else do I love and hate about Harry Potter? Oh, well, I'm just gonna go on a complete tangent here and say if you haven't seen a Harry Potter musical on YouTube, do yourself a favor and go watch that right now. Pause this, go watch that and come back. Um, it is hilarious. Um, it's probably one of the best YouTube things I've ever seen. Um, literally amazing. And if you've ever watched like Glee, um, Darren Chris plays Harry Potter. Um, I'm sure he, Darren Chris is in a bunch of other things. I'm just, I know for a fact he's in Glee. Um, he was in a movie with Kristen Wiig, but he's super talented and he's Harry Potter and it's such a great musical. Like I laugh every time I see it. And it's especially funny because they have a girl playing Draco Malfoy because like he's just such a girl. And it's so funny. There's an interview with Tom Felton where he's like, oh, I haven't seen a Harry Potter musical. Is it good? Like, how's Draco? And they're like, oh, she's hilarious. Like, she rolls on the floor a lot. And he's like, ha ha. And then he's like, wait, she? <laughs> and it's the funniest thing ever. Um, but she does a great job um, as Draco Malfoy. It's so funny. And like Dumbledore, like they're all just so funny. Like whoever wrote that is seriously like they have amazing comedic timing. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just so funny. And in the musical, Ron and Draco both like like Hermione and Draco like doesn't want anyone to know and so they sing this song called Granger Danger and it's hilarious because like one of the people who wrote it said that like they thought since Draco was always making fun of Hermione that maybe he had a crush on her and I think that could absolutely be true. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with these um headers. They keep ripping even though they're like perforated they like keep ripping on the not perforated spots. But yes, Harry Potter musical. That's actually called a very Potter musical. Go watch it right now. Oh, this is not easy. I don't know why it's like not <laughs> going on how I want it to. But yeah, what else can I talk about Harry Potter? I just love Harry Potter so much. Oh, you want to know the funniest thing? So when I first went to the parks, when they first opened, my parents took me like the first year that the park was a thing, back in like 2011 or 2012, when they first opened, um, we went and um, I was in the Harry Potter area. And um, so basically when you're in there, all the like cast members and stuff, cast members, what was this Disney? No. All of the workers, the employees who are working there call you muggles. They're like, oh, muggles this way, muggle, muggle. And I was like, I am not a muggle. So I made my parents spend like hundreds of dollars to buy me all of the Hogwarts attire. And they were like, this is your Christmas gift. This is your birthday gift. And I do not regret any of it because then from there on, everyone's like, oh, what year are you? Oh, you're a Slytherin. Like, I'm a Slytherin. And it was just so cool. So like, if you go, I would highly recommend getting the um, apparel. Um, it is quite pricey, but like I said, I didn't like being called a muggle because I am not a muggle. All right, moving on to the full boxes. I actually went to the museum. The Harry, they had a Harry Potter exhibit in New York City. And hmm, I think I want to put this one in the full box, in the quote box. But yeah, they had a museum in New York City and I went to it and I got, oops, I got picked to be sorted by the sorting hat. So the sorting hat at the museum actually put me in Slytherin. So that is another reason, if you have doubted me being a Slytherin, that I am 110% Slytherin. And it's also quite funny because my dad is, he's not a Slytherin. I'm pretty sure my dad is like a Gryffindor, like a true, true Gryffindor. Um, and my sister is a Slytherin, but my mom's a muggle. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, my mom is so funny because she just like does not <laughs> partake in any of the fun stuff that like we love. And so, yeah, she's she's a muggle. 
Let's see, what are we gonna do here? Did I even see a habit tracker? I don't, oh, here. I don't really want to use these. I kind of just want to make it really pretty. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I definitely. Okay, well, first things first, I'm going to take the sorting hat and I'm going to put it up here. And then where are my month stickers? Okay, I have these from Station Stickers. And I'm just going to take. Oh, these are also from Station Stickers. How cute am I? And I'm just going to put it right there. Look at that, guys. So cute. Okay. What am I doing over here? I guess I'll put one of these because I don't really have anything to mark in the sidebar. I just, like, I, this is only for memory planning, memory keeping. So I definitely, like, don't have any kind of stuff to put in here. Let's put this I guess and then I'm gonna put like a oh that's crooked come on come on Jackie what are you doing but yeah I'm very excited about this kit I like definitely had a good amount of plans this week too and right now it's Tuesday that I'm filming on. Tuesday, like a week from this Tuesday. Um, and I'm hoping to get this video up tomorrow because I wanted to have it up today, but obviously that did not happen. Whoops, sorry. I've just been up and down with like my mental health, um, which has been awesome. Love that so much. <laughs> not really, but yeah. Um, okay, what are we doing next? Let's see. I like hate the sidebar if you guys couldn't tell every week I have issues with it I'm gonna go ahead and do the full boxes so I don't have to deal with that right now this girl is totally going on Thursday because she is fabulous and I want her right in the center of the spread definitely love her and her like little Slytherin outfit okay what are we doing next there's a bunch of these green boxes so I'm definitely gonna take those and spread them out that way they're not all next to each other. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna definitely put the snitch, I think, on Sunday. I should have put one of these on um, this day, but I didn't. So whoopsies. I feel like very eccentric right now. I don't know why I didn't have like I did have coffee today but not recently <laughs> to be honest I could probably go for more coffee which I shouldn't because clearly I don't need it I don't know I guess I just feel happy today which is awesome feeling happy is a wonderful emotion What else do I love about Harry Potter? Harry Potter is just, honestly, it's one of the first book series that I read as a child. That and the series of unfortunate events. And the series of unfortunate events kind of stayed as like a, like, not a child's book, but like a, like a kid's book. And <laughs> that's a child's book. And so I feel like Harry Potter is like an all ages book. If that makes sense like no adults read a series of unfortunate events but like adults read and love harry potter so i just feel like it's like i don't know something that I, it's just something that i've continued to love throughout my growing up and everything i definitely want to use this you know what i think i'm gonna do is put it at the top here so that i could do a weekend banner over it you hoo where's the end I can never find the ends of the washi. Okay, got it, got it, got it. And I just ripped it. Like, look how freaking awesome this is. Yeah, I'm definitely using Weekend Banner because I just put this down and I'm loving it. 
wrong tool. Okay, I think that looks really good. Um, let me see where my weekend banner is. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one, even though this is silver, but I don't care. This is what I wanna do with my spread, so nobody could tell me, no, it's my spread. I love that, I'm obsessed. Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this. I didn't think I was gonna like it this much, and I'm really liking it. Green is not one of my big colors, uh, but I love this. So, sidebar, let me finish that. I guess I'll just put a habit tracker and then I'll just, I don't know, put something else. I love the washi, um, like this washi. So maybe I could just like cut it and like put it like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of this. Well, you know what? Let me put one more of these down here. Just cause like, I feel like I need to. And then I can do that. Oh, I actually really like that. Okay, perfect. So now we shall begin the daily plans. Monday, I went and got Dunkin' and we got Chick-fil-A, which it was my first time ever getting Chick-fil-A. And I didn't think I would like it, but I really did. So let me see. All right, I have to like organize myself here. Hmm. Where did, okay, this, this is what I was looking for. Um, do we have a food type icon? Okay, I do have this like hamburger looking thing. So I think I'm gonna use him and I'm just gonna like center him and then I could just write underneath or maybe I should put him like this, yeah. And then I could just write Chick-fil-A. So that is for Chick-fil-A slash Duncan. Then we worked. So I do have these labels and I'm gonna bring in the gray. Ooh. And I'm just gonna put the be branded script in it like I always do to mark work. And then I do have these station sticker um, journal scripts that I'm just gonna put one right over here in the sidebar. Just cause even though the week passed, it just looks pretty. And then I have my randy.plans be branded scripts that are customs. Um, okay, so after work, I set up a printer cause I just got a printer for my birthday that I can make stickers on. So do we have a printer? sticker on here probably not definitely not okay um see the problem with this week is that everything is green and I don't have a ton of green things so I think what I'm gonna do is maybe use hmm, there's the computer but it doesn't really it's not very applicable here okay I think I'm just gonna take one of these green flags and I'm gonna put it right here and then I'm gonna put this paper clip from my newest addiction on top. There we go. And then I could just write printer. And then I filmed a plan with me. So I do have these um, film edit uploads that I have from the sticky committee. So I'm just gonna put that here at the center. Film, beautiful. And then onto the second half of the day. I started to make a website this night and it took me forever. So I'm gonna grab one of these um, sparkly, oops, sparkly um, half boxes. Oh, I don't like that one because it's the same as the other one, okay. I'm gonna take a green one and I think I'm gonna put it this way because that's kind of all I did that night but I really, like it took up a lot of time. And I'm just gonna put this computer right here. And then that will be for that day. Then Tuesday, I filmed again and I did a clean with me video. So I did clean a lot. They did have a printer. Oh, that's so annoying. Hmm, I kinda wanna like, is this too much if I, no, okay, I can't do that. Oh, I'm so upset. All right, well, on to the cleaning. I have to look at these better. All right, well I have this bottle, which I could definitely use with something because mm, you know what I could do? 
I'm gonna use a checklist. So I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna put that here and then make a checklist for myself. And I'm just gonna use these from Simply Watercolor Co. And I did one, two, three, four, five, six. I did six chores. So let me do six of these. One. Okay, so that's my checklist. And then what else did I do Tuesday? So I did get coffee this day, which I have this coffee script in the, or cup, coffee cup. I have two actually. So maybe I'll layer it onto something. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what might be cool? All right, I'm gonna take this and put it here. Does that fill up the whole spot? Well, you know what, I'm gonna put it in the center here and then everything else can go up and behind it. I'm just gonna put this in the center. There we go, coffee, beautiful. Um, What else did I do? Okay, so I edited my vlog, uh, my, yeah, my website thing. And then I did upload a, or I edited, I edited my vlog and then I finished working on my website. So I'm gonna take one of these for finishing working on my website. Come on. <laughs> these are from my newest addiction also. And then for edit, I have these scripts, but I want to put something with it. Let me see what I have. Well, maybe I'll just use a piece of deco. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is put this Hogwarts letter like right up here and then just put the edit with it. Even though the two things have nothing to do with each other, I just think it looks cute. So on to Wednesday. Wednesday I started off the day working. So again, where are those little boxes? Let's take a green one this time. And I'm just going to put it up here. Um, where's my Be Branded scripts? Okay, so let me take a Be Branded script. And just put that there. Um, that is so crooked. Let's see if I can pull it up. Nope. Okay, it's gonna rip. It's staying. Okay, so then I did go to Duncan and then I had a psychiatry appointment. So for Duncan, oh, you know what I actually do have? Hang on a sec. I have this that says iced coffee, but that's there. Maybe I'll put psychiatry in the center and then I could put this at the bottom with something. Mm -hmm. I do have these. So I think what I'm gonna do is put this down here. And this is a $25 freebie and I'm not sure where it's from. I'm thinking station stickers because the font looks very similar. Okay, and then I'll put psychiatry here. So let's see, do any of these have like a pill bottle or something? This has like a little plus sign on it, like it's a doctor appointment. So I could take this, and, but I don't want to put it in the white space. I want to put it on something. But I don't want to use like another label because there's one right above it. Okay guys, these are from Crafts by Towie and I think that like this would just be really nice to layer. Let's see, which one do I want to use? I think I'm thinking like this one. Is that going to be too big here? No, it's perfect. And then here I'll just put this right in here. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now, what else did I do this day? Okay guys, so this day, um, the like most amazing thing happened. So I told my friend um, that I really, really like for the past five years, every time I go to Disney, I have been looking for this John Smith pin, like any John Smith pin. And I found one and it's John Smith and Pocahontas together but I wanted one just of John Smith. And you know, Pocahontas is not one of Disney's most popular films. So it's very hard to find him. And so my friend like remembered that I said that and he actually found a John Smith pin and he sent it to me for my birthday. And it's one of 92 made. I looked it up and I literally like 
I could not tell you, I literally couldn't stop smiling all day. It made my whole week. And so I'm just gonna use one of these little stamps because I feel like that's so perfect to mark that I got a pin and I'm just still so freaking happy about it. Like you could ask anybody. I have been looking for this John Smith pin for years. <laughs> like that is my thing, like John Smith pin. I've been literally like driving everyone I know nuts trying to find it and like now I have him and I'm so freaking happy. Like it was just the nicest gift I've ever like gotten. All right, so I'm just gonna put that stamp there. And then what else happened this day? Then I went to dinner with my mom and my sister. We had like a girls night. So is there like a dinnery kind of script or not script icon? Maybe I'll use the cauldron. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna use the cauldron to mark dinner and I'm just gonna write it in, I think. Mm, let me see. Let me see what I have in my stack over here. There's date night. It wasn't a date night. It was just like the <laughs> night with my mom and my sister. But I guess I could mark it as a date night. But like looking back, I know it's not it. Like I know now it's not a date. But like looking back, I'd be like, oh, who the heck was I on a date with? <laughs> All right. Maybe I'm just gonna put a little bow on the cauldron, and we'll call it a day. And then I will write in that it was dinner date with mommy and Lexi. And then when I got home, I finished working on my website. So what do I wanna use to mark that? It's so difficult cause like, I don't like to like, so for example, like I wouldn't want this to be next to this because then it's like two white space things. But then I also don't want two like boxes in a row. So like, since there's a box here, I don't wanna use another one down here. And since there's like, icon here I don't want to use one there so it's like what am I doing maybe what I'll do is take one of these really thin washi strips oh you know what actually I like this one better I'll take the really thin strip and put it here and then just put something in the middle I think I'll just put this bow and this is from my newest addiction and I'm just gonna put the bow in the center and then write finished website there we go. So that is the first half of the week, guys. And I think it looks so good. Like, I'm obsessed. Maybe I should use green more often. <laughs> definitely not, but I definitely like that. Okay, Thursday, I slept in. So I do have a sleep in script somewhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the sleep in script in the white space by itself. If I could peel it up. There we go. Sleep in, beautiful. Sorry, I don't know where that cut off, but I have this little cupcake here that I'm gonna use, but I don't know what to use it with. <laughs> Story of my life. Well, you know what? We had a movie night and a candy night. So what I think I'm gonna do is put this here and then I will put the cupcake at the top here. And then I guess I could just take these movie tickets right here Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take the popcorn and the soda and put it down here. Beautiful. I should have centered that more. Oh well. Um, okay, Friday. I edited and uploaded in the morning. So I think I'm gonna take this right up here. And I'm just gonna use the scripts that I have. Where are they? Edit and upload. So I have edit and upload. There we go. Okay, I, run a, I ran a lot of errands this day, so I think I'm just gonna make another checklist to mark them all. So I went to Target, I went to the car wash, Duncan and Michaels, so four. Perfect, there's four here. Okay guys, the next thing that I did was set up a little, um, face product fridge that I ordered. So I think I wanna use this like girl getting a massage, but I don't, or a facial, but I don't know what I wanna use it with. Oh, you know what? I think I, this is my moment, guys. 
Oh, that's not straight. I think because this washi is like really old and I never used it, it's like not sticking so well. I'm just gonna put her here and then I could write fridge underneath. <laughs> and then I filmed some singing videos. So I'm just gonna put this, mm, I wanna put it on something, on the trusty dusty flag. <laughs> well, but there's a flag up there, but whatever. We're gonna go for it anyway. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my Harry Potter girl here. These are from Fox and Pip. And I'm just gonna put her here and maybe write like that I watched Harry Potter even though I didn't. But shh, nobody has to know. Saturday it worked. <laughs> um, so work on the weekend. That's what you gotta do when you own your own company. <laughs> gotta get it done eventually. So let's put this here. And where is my work scripts? Here they are. Let's put this down straight. Beautiful. Okay. So after work, I did do a little photo shoot for myself. So I think I'm gonna use this little camera here. Yeah, I did a photo shoot with my tripod. I was very, very proud of myself because it actually came out pretty good. Um, and then I took a nap this day. Do I have a nap script? <laughs> oh, I do have these pretty like dividers. I think I'm gonna use one. And it kind of looks like vines, which is pretty. Okay, so then here I need to mark my nap. And then I watched the OJ Simpson trial because I just felt like it. And then my parents' friends came over for dinner. So those three things. I definitely want to use these like people to mark the OJ trial because it looks like a jury kind of. <laughs> so let's see, what can I use? I'm like running out of like boxes and stuff. All right, I think I'm gonna use this one to mark that my parents' friends came over for dinner down here. And then maybe I could just put OJ right here in the open space. And then up here, I could put something for my nap. I think I might just use like a bow with like a piece of deco. Maybe I'll just put the snake. Mm, not the snake because that's like, hmm. The snake's just too big, but I want to use him. So I'm going to use him anyway. There, we can put him like this. And then I'll just put nap time. Perfect. Okay, so what did I do Sunday? Sunday was my, oh, I didn't mark birthdays, but whatever. Sunday I actually played tennis with one of my friends. So I'm just going to mark that with, I have this little tennis racket with a tennis ball, but I just have to figure out if I want to put it with something. I think I don't. I think I just want to put it here and then just write tennis. And then we went to Del Fuego, which is like a Mexican place for drinks after. I do want to use one of these to mark that I I like filled my rings this day. So maybe what I'm going to do is take um, a piece of this washi and just put it in the center just to mark that I closed my rings and I'm going to put it at the bottom. Yeah, that's something that happened at night that I closed my rings for the first time in a while actually. That's there. Um, all right, I think I'm going to use one of these here and then just put like a food icon maybe hmm. i could just put these utensils there and then what else did i do then i i <laughs> i'm pretty sure i got heat stroke from um playing tennis out in the sun all day because i'm not used to the sun because it's been cold up here in new york so i'm just gonna put this with like i don't know if there's like a little something to go with it Maybe I'll just leave it like that um, for the heat stroke. And then I watched Netflix and I actually watched this show and it's brand new and it's called Ginny and Georgia or Georgia and Ginny. It was really good though. So um, I just want to put like a TV thing. All right, more deco it is. Um, yeah, so that show Ginny and um, Georgia was actually really good. I didn't expect it to be that good, but it was. So... This is the full spread, guys. My camera battery is about to die, but 
just take a look at how cute it is. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it out with my pen that I stole from the Cauldron Experience in New York City. So enjoy watching me fill it out with my stolen pen. Okay guys, here it is, the finished spread. I am so obsessed with all this foil. Guys, I'm so happy. Like, I never thought a green spread could look so good. And lo and behold, oh, you know, I didn't mark St. Patty's Day, but oh well, I'm not Irish. But I just love it so much. Um, let me show you guys what I have left of the kit. So, not I mean, I guess I have like a good amount left, but not too, too much. So yeah, I just, I love how everything turned out. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.